Hey guys, hey, it's me, Jimmy Lou, from the Messy Craft Corner. Hello, 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 hello. Listen, you guys, I just want to use this paper. <laughs> I just want to use more of this beautiful holiday paper. Um, Even though it's like, it has the recipe cards and stuff in it. Um, I just really, I, it's so beautiful. I just want to use it. So, um, I want to show you something quick, a quick, quick craft, quick craft. I call them quick crafts because to me they're quick. Um, for some of you, it may take a little bit to do them, but, uh, you can do this with, um, double-sided paper and then you won't have to do like the whole background work. I'm going to be doing some background work with mine, but you could do it right onto your double-sided paper. Hello, Grace. Hello, Dawn. Hey, you guys, there are uh, Cyber Monday sales going on on my page. Just go over to the Messy Craft Corner and scroll down through. You'll see lots of goodies. They're all mystery bundles um, that were put in place today that you could make a purchase for Cyber Monday if you wanted to. Um, I was going to do a book sale tomorrow for Giving Tuesday, but I forgot tomorrow's Crafters in the Kitchen leftover makeover. So I'm going to be busy with that all day tomorrow. But um, we will do a book auction um, possibly Thursday, and then we're going to count it as our Giving Tuesday, okay? So, hello, Robin. Hello, Terry. Thank you for the stars. That's so sweet of you. You guys are so awesome. Okay, so this is, it's a, guys, it's a paper craft. <laughs> you can make this as your Christmas card, and you can make them as big or as small as you want them to be. I am using a base cardstock of 110 pound weight, but like I said, you can cut it straight from straight from your um your pretty paper especially if you have double sided. So, hello Andrea and Chris is here. Welcome you guys. All right. So, what you want to do is cut down your paper to measure eight and a half by 6 is how I did it. So that my pieces are 4 by 6. So, it will hold a 4 by 6 photo nicely. Uh, or tightly, I mean, it will hold a three by five photo a lot nicer, especially when we put all the pretty papers on it. So, you know, be counting on printing your pictures in three by fives to send this because, and the reason I did it is because then this can fit into a regular size envelope. You still probably want to send it uh, it'll cost you roughly around $4 to send, but, uh, don't send it with just stamps on it. Make sure you take it to the post office, uh, and, and you can write on there, hand cancel only, and then they won't run it through the machine and tear it all up and all of that stuff. All your hard work going down the tubes. Okay. So we are cutting these. This is already eight and a half. I'm going to cut it down to six, six inches. Keep your scraps. Maybe we'll do something with those at a later time. And then we're just going to, let me see. This, this pack of paper is literally, it's like, it's a sliver off, you guys. So if you missed any of today's sales, there is seam binding out there. There is journaling cards out there. On the main page, all you have to do is like hop on over there and um, put a claim and say, these are mine. And then I'm going to be doing invoices this evening. Uh, Becky Smith, I have a package for you. We need to set up a uh, meeting time whenever it is good to meet up with you. Okay, so we're going to do some scoring here. We're going to score this at a half of an inch. So half of an inch. And then we're going to go to four and a half. Okay, and that gives us four inch spaces. So we got four inches, we got four inches. Fold this back and fold this up. So you kind of get that kind of <laughs> Okay, so um then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape we're gonna tape it up, you guys. I was cleaning off the table and I have tape, 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 lots of tape. Then I found little rolls. And what happens is I start making a project and then I can't find my roll of tape. So I open a new roll and then I open a new roll and then I open a new roll. And the next thing you know, I have all these rolls opened of tape and what a pain in the tusher that is. So, um, you guys tell me in the comments who, who loved the Whoville event over the weekend. Wasn't that awesome? I missed you guys yesterday. But wasn't that awesome? You guys, 
I have bad news about the Whoville book. About the Grinch book. Y'all, Chris Hunter bought it. <laughs> Chris Hunter bought the the Whoville book, the uh, Dr. Seuss book. So that is not going to be in an upcoming auction. But remember, I did tell you that I got um, this book that is also Dr. Seuss. We're going to turn this one into a junk journal. This one will be available. Um, for, <laughs> I love this one because the little Cindy Lou Who is so stinking cute in this book. Um, it's got music stuff. It has party stuff. It's got a lot of fun things in it. So, um, sorry that I did that, but, um, you guys, it was an awesome event and, uh, you watched a few of them. Hopefully you caught this one cause this one was good. All right. So there's, okay. We have these all taped. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape these together to create a, what's called an accordion fold. So think musical instrument. Burr, 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 burr. I don't know how accordions go. I don't know what sound an accordion makes. That's how accordions go. Okay. <laughs> so you take, I did three. You can do more. The more you do, the more places you'll have for photos. Now this is going to be double sided. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. This will hold 12 photos. Great 12 day of Christmas. Thanks for spreading the mess. Hello, Krista. So, um, it will, you guys missed my solo. You missed my music solo. I'm sorry if you did, but dur, 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 it's over. <laughs> so you guys, um, the event was so much fun and I believe every single presenter, every single one of them dressed up, I believe in some way. And listen, I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of, I listen, I did get a camera and maybe I might be doing face on as well as overhead. I have to talk to Christy Sloan, but, um, you guys, we're going to add a little bit of glue to this and we're going to glue the two together. But, um, so hopefully I can do, uh, the double as well, but I just, I couldn't because, you know, but so the best I could come up with was Grinch Prince. <laughs> Hello, Kim and Carrie. Hello, ladies. All right, so there's one, and just use caution that they all line up nice and even, nice, even Stevens, okay? So this is an accordion. <laughs> there you go, Dana. You got a little bit more of it. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. So, and then basically all we're going to do is mat, um, we're going to mat some pictures on here right after we, um, we're going to get some chipboard and we're going to cut some chipboard pieces as well. So let's do this way. Do, 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 do. Hey, Larry, yeah. the ladies want to know how does an accordion sound? Cause I don't think I'm getting it right. I'm in here doing <laughs> He's looking at me like I have marshmallows coming out of my brains. How, well, tell me then, how does accordion sound? Who cares? We're having fun, right? <laughs> Are you pulling something up? Be careful what you play, though. I don't want to get a violation. Okay, so here's our pieces. We're going to set this to the side, and we're going to grab some chipboard. Um, I think I have some scraps laying here that just might work. Well, that's six. Because I want it to be... We're going to make it exact. We're going to make the chipboard pieces exact. So we got six by four. What's that? It sounds like yoga. Happy birthday song, that beginning of that song. That's an accordion. Do it. Come on. I'm not doing it. Come on. No, no, no. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. This is your day. We'll have a lot of fun. See, I'm not that off. Anyway, I sound like a trumpet, they're saying. So I just cut it four by six. I'm going to cut this one four by six. And we're going to cover it right with our decorative paper. Are... <laughs> oh 
Oh my gosh, we're having lots of fun around here today, y'all. Lots of fun around here today. Okay, so here's our two pieces. And we're just going to cover it straight up. This little flapper here, that's piano. It's a piano. <laughs> we're going to cut this right off, you guys. We don't need that little flapper. Okay, Chris, they're all saying hi to you. Okay, Hello, so, we, so we do have this accordion fold. And if you know how an accordion sounds, just what the doctor ordered. A little bit of crazy is how you're saying. <laughs> Here's the paper I'm using, Holiday Spice. It's a recollection paper so, pad. It's not doing too much, though. Let's go ahead and use this piece. There we go. La 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 la. You're pushing <laughs> and pushing and pulling air through the through the orifices <laughs> that actually make the sound. It's basically like an, like an organ almost, but it's, it has a bellows that you're pushing it out. There you go. There you go. Good to know. All right, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and use this this piece, and I saw another piece I wanted to use. Let's do this one. So we got two pieces, and we're going to cover that chipboard is what we're going to do. I saw... <laughs> Listen, I can't do an organ sound. I, I just can't. Not without being like, amazing grace. <laughs> I'm telling you. Y'all, I don't know why you watch. I don't know why you watch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So these are four by six. Um, so if you want an inch around uh, to make a nice tight cover, uh, then you want to do uh, eight inches, eight inches by six inches. So eight by six. Oh, I probably could have got away with one. Eight inches. Y'all are going to quit watching, and I'm going to be sitting around here going, what the heck? Am, why is where did everybody go? <laughs> so we got eight by six is going to cover this nicely. We can do two sheets exactly the same. So we can do the same for the front and the back cover. So we're going to do this one. And we're going to do this one. There is more to come in the Grinch book, you guys. And then this is going to go, we're going to glue this right onto these, right onto the cover. Um, so it's going to open and close this way. All right. So our covers are going to be just like so. We're going to add some closure material. <laughs> Something that's going to hold it closed. I didn't think that far, you guys. I didn't think to pull out something that um, we can use as a tie closure here. Um, ribbon, you know what? We'll use some seam binding. You guys can get a mystery bundle of seam binding out on the main page. This will be perfect for this project. So let's cover these up. Add a little bit of tape if you want to move quickly. Oh, good, Beverly. I'm so glad that you did. Listen, some of you guys, I know um, a couple people got their stuff really quick. And then I did have someone message me today about where's their box. Um, so it, it is, those stuff is on the way. Um, so it could just be slow mail, the holiday, the upcoming holidays, all that stuff. And I'm not trying to make excuses, but you know how that goes. So uh, if uh, I send you an invoice today from the 123 sale, the Cyber Monday and the Small Business Saturday sales, if I send you an invoice tonight and you have it paid, by the time I go live tomorrow at 2 o'clock, my time is 2 o'clock tomorrow, we're going to be making turkey pie. Come join me. Come join me for some turkey pie. Leftover makeover, y'all. Um, if you're paid by 2 o'clock, by the time I go live, when I get off of the live, I'm going to be hitting the post office and um, taking packages out. So, And wait till you see how I have them all dude up. I did a little something extra for the holiday. Woo! Hello. There must have been a. <laughs> it just went. There must have been a clogger in the tip of my 
my glue there. All right, so we're just going to glue this down. Uh, this is exactly how I do my book covers. Um, you know, so uh, some of them, how we do the book covers, except for they're long. Uh, and we're going to take our scissors. Oh, no problem, Judy. No problem. And I was meaning to message you back before um, I went live and I, and I just didn't get that far. Listen, stuff's settling over there. Oh, you guys, I got some new paper today. <laughs> Wait till you see. You guys, Bookmakers Club is open for you guys to get in. If you want to join the Bookmakers Club for December, it is going to be Bookmakers Choice so we can make whatever we like. And I don't know about y'all, but there's a lot of Christmas going around. And Christmas is great and all. I love the Christmas. But um, I bought paper today to make my book with in the Bookmakers Club. And it is not Christmas paper. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Look at this beautiful paper. Um, DCW is, or DCWV is, um, ho the Hobby Lobby carries this paper. Look at this. It is called Ocean Breeze Stack. And it does have some foil pages. Look at how beautiful this is. It's got anchors. I'm just in the mood for this. And come January, the Reader's Digest Kit. So, Andrea, that should have come, that should have been in a package with something else I sent you. Send me a private message. Isn't it pretty? It's got like hot pink. It's got like, I think it's going to be great for December. <laughs> no, really, I bought this to do a book in the Bookmakers Club, um, ocean themed because I don't know I think next year is like the year of the ocean I think we're just gonna do a lot of ocean stuff and I am not an ocean person I'm a mountain girl I like the mountains and the camping and all that stuff but I don't know just the nautical stuff that I've been accumulating lately has me wanting to to do a book in it and then I found this today I did pick it up at um we call it the green sticker store that's because everything has uh, green stickers on it and it was nine dollars so really nice paper by the way okay that's enough of that <laughs> I know but it's beautiful paper and if you are in the bookmakers club you can make it with any paper at all it doesn't have to be the same paper it doesn't have to be it can be but it doesn't have to be all right so just like what I'm making here it doesn't have to be in this paper you could make these little brag books for baby Y'all, I'm going to be a grandma. <laughs> um, you can make these little brag books for grandma, for the mom and dad, for um, lots of things, really. Uh, trips, uh, holidays, any of those things. Oh, my goodness. Nancy's a beachy girl. Well, if you like, also, I do have room in the Reader's Digest class. Uh, those kits are um, 200 if you would like a kit. It's a kit and a class. You get three months worth of classes. And then, oh, I'm sorry. And then we make a Reader's Digest junk journal in the class, one live a week for three months. So you get all the classes. You get everything in the kit that you, you want to add stuff to. You know, you want to put your own kind of stuff been it and didn't on it but um you know it is what it is okay quit talking so much to me and get cracking here you still don't even know what you're tying this together with oh yeah seam binding that's right <laughs> okay so here we go we're gonna press this down look at how pretty this is then this is a nice plain kind of front and we can add whatever we like tag or something to the cover um to make it to make it fun so um here we go, you guys. And then in two weeks, no, next week. Next week is the um, Winter Wonderland event. There's a free group that you guys can join um, to watch all the Winter Wonderland presenters in one place. Uh, you, Some of you might already be a part of it because we used it for the um, craft hop. But um, so there we go. That's all nice and covered. Walking in a winter wonderland. So it could be anything. They could their projects can be anything winter themed. So it could be Christmas. It could be Hanukkah. It could be I don't know. Just because you went on a sleigh ride kind of thing. So 
they get all that fun stuff. All right, so this is going to attach right onto here. But what I want to do before attaching it, boy, am I glad I did not use directional paper for this. Um, if you use directional paper, then you have to be really careful which direction you're going. So we're going to add a piece of this seam binding on here. This is seam binding that I've coffee dyed. You can coffee dye, you can tea dye, you can do all the fun things. Just put a little line of glue here that's going to hold it in place for me until um, I glue the other part down. And I like that it's all kind of like wrinkly and crinkly and all that stuff. Uh, if you like it not that, then do it something different. I have not. We Okay, so here's what we decided. Because this half of the we wants to go and buy all of the baby things. All of the baby photo or papers and ephemeras and all of the things. But we're waiting until we see what Elizabeth is going to have. And then, huh? Yeah, this half of the we. Meaning Elizabeth wants to wait, this half wants to buy. <laughs> um, anyways... Uh, let's add some tape onto this. Um, so we're going to wait and to see what she has, uh, before purchasing all that. But you guys are going to get to be a part of the baby book making. Um, that is something that Elizabeth said. Yes, absolutely. If you guys like, we are going to have a book shower for Elizabeth. So you can send, um, baby books or you can send books to the baby, uh, to the post office box. And that's on the main page. You can find that right at the top. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, if you want to send a book for the baby, you can listen. A good used book is also acceptable. Elizabeth loves thrifting. She loves finding things at the thrift store. So um, if you want to send something that maybe was one of your kid's favorite books and, you know, you want her to have it for the baby, you can. Um, if you can't send anything at all, that's okay. We're doing we're doing the baby book right here on this page. Um, so you guys will be able to see it. So, yes. And books are the one thing that, you know, it doesn't matter. Because if she gets two of the same book, okay, Tamara, I'll be watching for it. Um, it. Books, if she gets two of the same book, we decided that Children's Hospital will get any of the extra books for children to enjoy there. So it's kind of our way of also giving back. But, um, you know, she is, she's got a little baby bump, y'all. She's looking so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and we're going to glue it right over top of this. So then that way, when the book is closed, we'll have this tie closure. Okay. And I think what we'll do, I don't know what we're going to do. What am I going to do here? Cause I want it to tie closed, but it's still going to pop open. We'll wrap it around and tie it in the front is what we'll do. Uh, we'll figure it out. But um, so now it's got part of a tie closure. It has a chipboard cover. And let's cover the other side. Okay. Oh, okay, Tamara. I get you now. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. I, I almost told you when I got the baby for Christmas, but I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait because Elizabeth watches you guys and she could be on here. And, but, um, <laughs> when, uh, when she opens it, I'll be sure and take pictures of it so you can see, uh, exactly what I got. So this was just leftover chipboard I had laying around. You can cut these to any size and then cut your pages, um, to fit the accordion lifestyle. Okay. <laughs> so. All right. So f tell me what's on your craft table, you guys. Let's have a little chat about what you guys are making. What are y'all making? I know. I'm so excited. I can't wait. And um, so today, this is this is a funny story. I, I don't know if I should tell them about the girls, what I did. No. Uh, okay. Um, so here's a funny story, though. Uh, went to the grocery store today, and uh, Larry was with me as we often do, go to the store together. And he said, 
Is that Eby walking across there? Here, Elizabeth and I and Larry were all at the same grocery store together. <laughs> that was hysterical. That was so funny. We we're like, man, talk about... And just at the same time, like, we all arrived at the same time. Um, and none, none of us knew the other ones were going. It was not... Yeah, it was totally unplanned. Totally unplanned. Dana's making ornaments and putting major scene on it. Ooh, be sure to share that over at the um, Your Messy Craft Corner so we can see uh, what you've been doing. Don't. That's a free group, by the way. Anyone can join. And that's it totally for you guys to take pictures of and share. <gasps> Seventh Christmas cookbook. Go you. Look at you. I told you I'd make a paper crafter out of you yet, Marilyn. How about it? <laughs> Anybody can do it. If you, if you, you got practice, guys, it takes a lot of practice. I bet you Marilyn can tell us that her seventh cookbook is a little nicer than her first one. And it does come in the practice. So envelopes, I just sent an advent box to my daughter. Oh, awesome. December daily. Cool. Tamara, I want to see pictures over in your messy craft corner. So, yeah, it does take a little practice, you know, wrapping, wrapping chipboard. This project here, if you don't have chipboard, this is a good starter project because you could use a cereal box for this because the chipboard I'm using is a very lightweight chipboard. So I would think you could use, you could use, um, cereal box for this. So, oh, we have 68 friends on here. Hey, if you're new because of the, the, um, the Whoville event. Go ahead and um, type, type in that the Sparkle Room sent you um, so we can say hello and welcome you. Oh, cool. A living window. Where at? Like at a department store, Rita? Or is this like at your house? Tell us more. Practice makes perfect. Yes. Hello, Mary. How are you, Miss Mary Harris? Miss Mary Harris. All right. So there's this half. So we're going to go ahead and on this side here, I'm going to make my, um, my piece of, uh, it won't matter because they're both, that's pretty long. I was going to say I'm going to make it longer. <laughs> so that way, uh, I have enough to go all the way around. So this is on sale right now on my page. This is called uh, seam binding, and I purchase it, and then I coffee dye it. You can color it any color that you want, and then I wrap it on these little wooden pegs so you guys can get them for your books and stuff. So I'm doing good, Miss Deborah Campbell. Hello, Daphne. Welcome. So we're just going to add a little glue because all we need is a little bit to hold this into place. Until we glue this part down so let's add a little tape thanks for blessing the crafty mess that means to s-h-a-r-e if you're new here more and more friends are trickling in as we're working so if you missed it you can go back and you can watch the replay from the beginning also i'll be uploading this where it happened to my here it is um I'll be uploading this video over to YouTube because I want to start putting videos over there as well. So you guys can check it out either place. Hello, Miss Carol. Happy Monday to you too. It is a happy, happy Monday. Okay, so we're going to add this back on here. All right. Now, I'm going to tell you, this book, you don't want to do a lot of um, decorating to the pages because it's this is a brag book. This is something I should have did one out this side and one out that side, but that's okay because I'm going to make it that you can wrap it around this way. And wrap it around this way and then it'll have this tie closure here in the front so to be wrapped around is what we're gonna do <laughs>
Yes, I take PayPal. I ha also take Venmo. I also have the Square. So if you want to pay with a credit or debit card securely, you can do it through the Square. I'll send you an invoice that way. So yes, I do take several forms of payment. Okay, so now all that's left to do is to cut some pieces for our... Hang on, I have a little bit of a lip hanging up over the top here. Let's just trim that down. We're going to cut some pieces to, um, to mat the pages on the inside. And then it, when you open it, it opens like this. You have all of these places for photos, then also on the back side. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten places for photos. Uh, one more if you want to count the back cover on the outside. But um, so, but like I said, you can make these as many pages big or small as you like. Okay, so these were four by six. I just need to, what did I do with my paper? Here it is, is pick out my papers. There's 10 spots for photos. So we're going to pick out five papers. I already have one. Here's two. Three. four and five. So there's five really nice papers that we can use to cover, to mat our inside pages. Okay. That's okay. You can catch the replay. Okay. So four or six inches high. So we're going to go five and three quarters. You can get several books out of just one or, or out of just a handful of papers. So three and three quarters. And then let me show you. This will mat your pages. Open it up, Jimmy Lou. This will mat your pages just nicely with enough room around the edges um, that you can hold a three by five photo. So, so we're going to cut just ten. I said there's ten spots, so we're going to cut ten that are like this, so three and three quarters. Keep all of your scraps because you can do a lot of fun things with those. Um, if you don't mind your inside having some of the same as your outside, you can cut these down as well, but I would save that for the next, for the next batch, Actu act blah, 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 blah. actually. So five and three quarters. And we're going three and three quarters. And I'm going to flip this one over to do three and three quarters this direction. So we get all these pretties. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hello, Teresa. Welcome. Okay. Five and three quarters. And then three and three quarters and three and three quarters. Okay, there we go. One more. One more. Like I said, I would not do a whole lot of decorating to these. This is short, sheerly just a brag book. And whatever you add to the front cover, that's going to be your decorative stuff. Okay, so that's going to be where you're going to put your, your fancies and your pretties. And then leave the rest for... Um, for photos, okay? Because then it will fold nice and flat, except for what's on the front cover. And um, it will ship a lot nicer. Okay, so here's all my pages that are cut. And I cut them down to size. And then just wherever you want to kind of, you know, lay them out. Let's take a look. So when I open up the book... You can do side by side, or you can just rotate. Here's one and two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to go back to this for the other side. So let's do this one here and this one here. And then on the other side, there's a place for four. So it'll just be four different ones on the opposite side. So it's real pretty. Can you see that? There we go. All I have to do is glue this down. Do 
All right, so here we go. I'm going to scoop this over. And we're just going to line these up. So, Relatives That Live Far Away. This is a great book because you can mail it. It's going to cost you a little extra to ship it. Um, when I send these to you guys, they cost just $4, maybe a little more, depending on where you are in the United States. Uh, apparently, the further away you are, it costs you a little bit more. Um, but gas ain't cheap. Let's just say, let's just put that out there. Gas, not cheap. So you could have inked your edges if you wanted to. Yeah, this this is um, yeah, this is a project you can finish. Carrie is right. Projects you can finish in one setting. Actually, you could mass make these. Um, have all sit down and cut all of your papers, do all of your scoring, do all of your taping. And then just start piecing them together. And um, especially like if you have a lot of teachers that maybe you give to or co-workers. Um, these are inexpensive as far as, you know, you can use scraps from your paper packs. Uh, that's why I'm always saying save your scraps, save your scraps. Um, you can make these bigger if you want to hold 4 by 6 photos. Just bump the sizes up. If you want to um, make them smaller, you can make them smaller. I don't know that I would go smaller. <laughs> I say go bigger or go home. <laughs> All right. So definitely something, even if you go to a, um, what do they call Like a white elephant uh, party, a white elephant party. These make great white elephant gifts. Um, you know, unless you're into, my family is into the, like, the dumber, the better. Uh, the last Christmas my mom was here, she gave ketchup in hers. <laughs> She had all these bottles of ketchup. You remember that, Larry? I don't remember. She had all these bottles of ketchup and these plastic bowls that someone gave to her, and she didn't want any of it. So she wrapped them up and gave them in a white elephant gift, and it was ketchup. It's actually cheaper to mail out of state than in the same state. It is. That is true. But I don't know. It depends because... Uh, as, as far as the size package, okay, so this size package, if I mail in Pennsylvania, it's going to cost about the same as if I send it to um, neighboring states, but um, it depends. It really does. Okay, so if you have directional paper, like this is directional, um, you want to make sure that you flip your book over the direction that your directional is going to be the same, so that way you don't have a little mishap there. So we got here and here. And here and here. And look at just how pretty. This is just real pretty. And then you can add your own photos to it. Um, these also, if you are go to craft sales, and this is my own design. This is something, this was me. This wasn't something I watched someone else do. Um, so I just appreciate credit. Uh, if you just, you know, it's bad form to teach it and then not give credit. But anyways, um, you know, the internet is full of ideas. And... Um, this is just one that's going to make it out into the, into the Facebook land. But you guys, uh, these would make, if you do, um, craft shows, like, uh, if you are a person that does, um, vendor events, um, these might do well for you. Um, I don't ask me what to charge for them. Cause I don't know. I haven't priced them yet. So the paper is from Michael's. It is, um, no, wait, I'll show you. Woo. Hello. I almost hurt my ankle stepping on my own paper, you guys. Uh, it's called Holiday Spice. It was from last year, just so you know. I buy a bunch of them up that I really like at the end of the holiday season when it's, like, marked way down. And I bought up several of them, so. And then um, I think I have, I have to go in the drawer down here. I have to go in the Christmas drawer, you guys. Yes, I'm, I'm actually sweating. <laughs> Listen, I work myself into a sweat in this room. <laughs> I actually am thankful that this room gets a little cooler, Larry. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. This is our last piece of paper. So uh, you just want to add some pretty decorative papers. Now, if you want to add um, tuck spots, you know, like punch holes out and add tuck spots, you can. If you want to add a journaling card or a journaling pocket somewhere, 
um, throughout you can so that way you can put some tags in uh, let me show you how to do that we'll just go ahead and we'll use this four inch piece as our example and let's go ahead and grab this so for we're gonna go five inches five inches and then this is definitely way too high so let's go three inches so five inches by three and then I just used the paper from the paper collection and I've lost my score tool again and we're gonna score it on three sides one one long side two short sides two and three let me just make a sure yep that's gonna line up perfect and then so you see your score lines. Aw. <laughs> Everyone stop calling me when I want. <laughs> That's funny. So we're just going to miter cut our corners here. Going into that corner point and then rotating a little bit. Just so that they overlap a real little bit. And then we're going sides in first, bottom up last. So anything we slide in. Um, it won't get hung up too easily. I'm not going to say it won't get hung up. It just won't get hung up as easily. So we got this. Oops. Hold on. This and this. Okay. And then we're just going to, we're going to miter cut here. Cut down on your bulk. The bulk of the thing at the top is just, you know, want to cut down on that. <laughs> Don't mess with creativity. Don't mess with creativity. So you can put this anywhere. Um, I think it doesn't really matter where I go with it. It's going to pull in the look of this. So let's go over here on this one right here pull up our tape this will turn out to be a cute little project Jimmy Lou's happy with herself this little book here will end up in the Shopify so you can be watching for that to come out I also have some journaling cards that are gonna go into the Shopify they are smaller versions than what I sold today Okay, so there we go. It just folds. Whoops. That pocket just folds all up in there. Now, just got to remember, anything that you add decorative on the inside is going to make this continue to be like that. So um, that's why I'm like, I don't want to add a whole lot. I want to leave more room for pictures so that it can be very pretty. Okay, let me go to the drawer. Because I have a bunch of these things. Oops. Look at, look at. We got, oh, look at this one. We got the gingerbread man having some cocoa. Ho ho, don't you know? So make a little scene if you want to. <laughs> you guys, I'm not right. I'm not right. I'm just telling you, I am not. I don't know. I think there's, <laughs> there might be something wrong with me. Anyways, you have all of these. These I also got at Michael's. Um, I got these ones there this year. Look at this beautiful cake one. That also is pretty. I think I do like the the gingerbread lady. I thought I saw two holding hands. Am I like, did I lose my marbles or what? I did. They're right here. <laughs> Let's grab these. Look at how cute these are. So we have our, our gingerbread men. Like so. And a little gingerbread hot cocoa. Don't you know? We could also do warm hugs in a mug. I'm just going to layer these is what I'm going to do. No, I think I like the one. I think I like this one better. On the front with these two. And then can we do happy holidays? We sure can. So let's, oops, let's cut this off of here. So we have happy holidays. Can go up here. And we'll scoot this down. Okay, so these are actually a sticker piece that come from Michaels. And um, they're just a hoot of fun to use. But 
Um, I like to use a little extra glue on mine. Oh, I just thought of something else I have that we can use with our gingerbread theme here. So I'm going right at the top with it. Right at the top. This one's going to come all the way down at the bottom. And we're going to pay attention where our gingerbread men and lady go. Because this we're going to pop up. We're going to go up on this one. I'm thinking I want to cut the girl out. I think I just want to add the gingerbread man. Hang on. Let's see how that looks. Because if it doesn't look right, we can always... Yeah. Look how cute. Cute, 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 right? So you also have that you can keep for later on. So um, don't pass up on this, this kind of stuff just because it's a sticker. Because they're really very well-made stickers. And um, they're just a lot of fun. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add these. This is going to come up on some dimensional foam tape. This I get at the Dollar Tree. So let's get our, our little gingerbread man. You're my gingerbread man. I'm your gingerbread lady. There's a Christmas song in there, you guys. So let's see. We're going to go right here. Just like this. Okay. You could even do like cookies for Santa would be cute here. Um, entirely up to you. You want to add some, some pretty little something, something underneath. You can, if you like. I'm just still playing around. Okay, so to add foam tape to this, because this is a sticker, um, we're gonna we're gonna pop the tape off, this tape, and we're gonna we're gonna schmutz some glue under there, and then we're gonna put the piece back down. Okay, so that is now gluing that, making it more permanent. We're gonna do the same thing over here, so that way it doesn't um, pull up and disconnect after I put the foam tape on it. Oh, awesome idea, Miss Rita. That is an awesome idea. Oh, I'm so glad you did that. Okay, so foam tape is going on here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Straight across, straight across. We're having a mug with some frost. Okay, here's a question. Those of you who drink hot cocoa, whipped cream or, or marshmallows? Whipped cream or marshmallows? And I'm not talking about the fluff. No, I'm not talking about marshmallow fluff. I'm talking about real marshmallows. The real deal, you guys, I'm talking about. All right, so we just did straight across like that. And this is going to go on there like that. It's going to pop up. We're going to pop it up. We got to put something there too. But um, I got these little um, ornaments at uh, Hobby Lobby. They came, ouch, they came from, and they look like little cookies, right? So I think adding like one or two of these little cookies might be fun. Come on out of there, are you? Thank you. Um, and they do look like little gingerbread cookies. So we'll go in a, in, in a three. We'll go three here. We'll go one here, one here. And um, scoot her up a little bit. We're going to put one here. We're going to put one down here. And then where's that tree one? And we're going to do the tree. So one, two, three. Just like so. Okay. Send it in bubble wrap. Bubble wrap it, tissue wrap it, do all the wrap and wrap and things, okay? Because otherwise these little pieces could, I don't know if these could break or not. I don't want to try because I had an ornament for Elizabeth and I broke it. And then I lost the piece that I broke. So now I have to go hopefully buy another one. So you can even put the cookie onto the cup. Just like that. These are in the mini ornaments, you guys. What brand of glue is the glue bottle? Sure thing. This is uh, 
And you guys that did not place your order for the glue glove, I am disappointed that you guys did not think that was a cool enough idea. Um, I use, it's called Neutral pH Adhesive. It's by Linco. And um, coming next summer, I may be carrying this in my shop. I can't do it right now because it's too cold um, to ship. But in the summertime, I might could. So um, that's why my glue bottle has a sweater. It's not because it's having an ugly sweater contest later today um, at its office party. <laughs> it's just because um, it helps to keep it warm. If you uh, missed it, uh, it was it was walking around here and the glue bottle had on socks for a while. So it does, It honestly, it does help. So that's the kind of glue. I know I like the little gingerbread and the cocoa. So this kind of went fun. This would make a good book for like sleigh ride. Like if you're going to do sleigh riding or something. Oh wait, this needs a real little bit of piece on the handle right here to help with that okay so we got all our foamy tape we're gonna uncover the back side of it and we're gonna add a little bit of hot glue to help it stay in its place you guys this is gonna be cute who's loving it give me some hearts hello bluebird crafting Give me some hearts if you're loving it, because I'm loving this one. This one's turning out cute, you guys. Okay, so here's the little cocoa. The little cocoa in a mug. Just like so. Okay, now we have our little tree, and our little star, and our little, I don't know, this little gingerbread dude down here. He looks like, he looks like he got in trouble. <laughs> so... I don't know. He just, he looks like he has like a third eye in the middle of his forehead. <laughs> they all have this little weird hole and that's okay. Um, cause you can add, uh, well, you know what we'll do? Hang on. This is what we'll do. When I'm finished, um, after I'm done tying it up, I'm going to use these liquid pearls and, um, liquid pearls is just like, um, Oh, Shoo, excuse me. Um, it is just like, um, what is that other stuff called? Um, stickles. It's just like stickles, uh, except for it's pearly. So, so I don't know if you can see. So we'll just go around these and we'll fill in those kind of gaps with this. So it gives it kind of that pearl three dimensional. It's going to give us some more dimension, that kind of thing to it. So, um, one thing I do want to add is let's add a little bow. I'm going to add this right up here. Let's go a little smaller. A little smaller. Okay, so there we go. We're just going to add this right there. I'm not always a big bow person. And I, I think I got myself in trouble one time when I said, not every project has to have a bow on it. Because some crafters, that's like their thing. They put bows on everything. and um, But not every project. Just remember that. If you can't make a bow, that's okay. Tie a shoe just like I tie my shoelaces. That's how I make my bows. So there's our little Christmas cookie. And... Do, 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 do. I wish I had like candy cane. That's made out of this stuff. But I'm afraid to yank it off of here. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to ruin it. Hang on. Let's see if I can do it. I sure did. So we can add that to there. Do you guys love it? I think it turned out so cute. There we go. 
I just yanked it off. It was this. Now she look. Now she looks like she's holding her belly, like she's gonna have a baby. <laughs> so let's just add this here. You know what? I'm gonna add it onto my project because I don't wanna. I don't want a glue mishap. Just like so. Okay. So before I add my liquid pearls, because this has to set overnight to dry. Um, hey, Miss Becky. Look at how cool this is, Miss Becky from Church, my sweet friend. Whoops, hang on. I got it all stuck together. <laughs> Look at how cute this is, you guys. It opens like so. So you have all these places to add photos. Photos, 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 photos. Backside also. Photos, photos, photos. And then um, it'll fold all up. We have this pocket right here. And let me just tell you, this um, paper pad has cut apart right here. And we could have went with the collection and we could have used the cut aparts as well for um, the outside. But we're just going to add a couple of these to the inside. Hold on, my, my board is slipping all over the place. Okay, so there we go. Oh. Oops. Let's trim this off. Okay, and then we have these, like, these sayings. Um, we can... Let's use this one on the end down here. This one right here. Hang on. It needs a little trim work, and I need to do that. I can see just like so and we need to take a little bitty off here there we go and that can fit across the across the pocket just to make it cute angle it if you like add yourself a little gingerbread person if you want to actually I think what I'm gonna do is I think because these are meant to be little mini tags is I'm just going to cut that tag hole off because who needs it? Who needs it, you guys? I make the cutest. I do, don't I? <laughs> I do make some cute books. Listen, I'm going to tell you, it's all God. I'm giving God all the credit here because I, I truly believe it is the Lord that gives me the inspiration to make these awesome things so that I can come and teach you guys how to make these awesome things. And um, I, I can't say that I know another... Um, bookmaker that says the same thing but sometimes it's it feels like it's God giving me the ideas so and then I have these are the tags so let's just cut these we're going to include these four right in the book so we're just going to cut these apart just like so and then we can trim these off right here And these will fit perfect down inside of there. Who's loving it? I think those little gingerbread people just kind of added something a little extra to it. I don't know. I could be wrong. So I don't know. I just want to give God the credit because I really do feel like it's the Lord that, that inspires me. Um, when I can't sleep at night. And I get up and I come down here and I'm working out things that I can bring to you guys or to the bookmakers club or to, you know, the junk journal classes. It just, I don't know, it just sometimes I got the praise and worship music on. I'm down here in the daytime. That stuff is happening. Okay, so there's our pieces. Um, I like, I think I want the tree in the front there. Okay, so now we have those. You can hole punch these. Get ready. We're going to make the, the whole punching sound. Sometimes I do create, right, as I go along in front of you. Yes. And sometimes things get worked out ahead of time. Um, and that's why I sometimes have so many blank books sitting around here unfinished. We're going right in the center of this hole. ka -chow. Make the sound, guys. It makes bookmaking that much more fun. Give it the sounds you think it should have. ka -chow. Here we go. Ka-chow. 
Get ready for the last one. Y'all do it with me out loud so people watch or people around you are like, what is she doing? Ka-chow. Okay. Um, use your seam binding if you like. This is attached to my book. <laughs> um, to Use your seam binding if you like to make the tops to your tags. Um, you could do this two ways. I'm going to show you two ways. We're going to leave two in there undone. And you can do the regular old way of just putting a loop through your hole. I'm sorry. I don't really try to make it look that easy. It does take practice. And then back through the loop with the two ends, give it a pull. And then you have, you know, that tag look at the top. That's one way of doing it. The other way is to take your piece and just put one end through. I'm sure there's probably more ways than the two I'm showing you. But um, what I like to do is at the top up here, just give it a knot. Just knot it like so. And then, you know, you can trim this however long or short you want it to be. And then tuck that down in there. And then just look at how cute. Okay, so all we have to do is bring this around this way to the front. Take this one around this way to the front and then here in the front we're going to tie a bow and that's going to hold it all closed so it's going to hold it all nice and closed um it's got a little pucker because we put knot things in there but um and then trim these off for how short or long you want it i i like to leave them a little long and kind of whatever whoever gets the book then can decide this book will be going up in the shopify later today it's so stinking cute um tomorrow it will go up tomorrow i can't do it today because we're going to put stickles on last thing we're going to do we're going to put some stickles no liquid pearls around on this so um liquid pearls are just a lot of fun they're a little give it a little extra so I'm most concerned about the holes in the top of these, but don't be afraid to add a little extra as if it's making the icing kind of glow. You guys see that? Right? Let's do the star. So I'm going right in the center of that star. And I'm going to go around just to give it some of that little shimmery, little shimmity shim shimmer. And this one, we're just gonna make it look like he has hair. <laughs> just a little hair. Yeah, Liquid Pearls are a lot of fun. They are by Ranger. Um, you can order them on Amazon, check. They might be on sale for Cyber Monday, I'm just saying. Okay, now what I have to do is not set anything on top of this. You could also, um, and this, this color, they do have colors, I think. This one is, come on, pearl white. This color is pearl white. Let's add a little bit to this up here as well. Hang on. Okay. Hold on. I got to get in here where I can see. So I'm just adding a little bit to where the white already is. There we go. And that's good. That's just going to make it a little extra. You can add it onto your cardstock pieces too if you like. It's up to you. All right. So that's it, guys, for me for today. Thank you so much for showing up. Let's see. It's 423. I have one last thing that I'm adding to the Shopify sale or to the Shopify, to the... um. Cyber Monday sale. Uh, if you want to check it out, it's going to give me a couple minutes for it to get listed. And um, that sale ends at 10 o'clock tonight, 10 o'clock tonight. So if there's something that you want to get, grab it before um, it closes or it sells out. If you were unfortunate <laughs> to get a tearing ruler, I am ordering more this week. So if you want to get a tearing ruler, um, go on to the to the listing for the tearing rollers put your name on the wait list so i know how many to order they will i will honor the five dollar sale 
and then anyone extra that goes into the Shopify, they will actually be $10. So you got them at a 50% discount today, y'all. Yes, you did. All right. So have a good rest of your day. Remember to always be kind, no matter what, because you never know what someone's going through. Have a great night. Go create one of these. And if you do, head on over to your messy craft corner and share a photo with us. All right. We will see you all real soon. Bye, guys.